I'd like to tell you a little bit about my smart glasses and how they help me out in everyday situations and conversations. So recently I was in Shenzhen with my friend Mike and he was doing some consulting uh, in South Korea for a AR company that was teaming up with a self-driving car company. Uh, you know, they wanted to put AR into self-driving cars. And at first, you know, you know, I do think about AR a lot, but at first I wasn't really that excited. You know, I was thinking like, uh, current AR glasses, they probably don't have tracking in the car. If you really want to, your kids to watch a movie in the back of the minivan, just bring your end reels into the car. But then I had a proactive agent running on my glasses via Convoscope, the idea generator. And it said, how could AR glasses change the taxi cab experience? And I realized I was about to go to Singapore for the first time that weekend. And I would pay three times as much for a Uber, which had built in AR glasses. Imagine, you know, you pay twice as much for your Uber, but you get in and you have AR glasses that can show you the world around you that can combine the digital and physical worlds. So maybe as you're going along, you could say, oh, this is uh, the port, one of the biggest in the world. Get the volume of things going in and out every day. You go by a government building. Oh, this government building founded 56 years ago. Go a little further. Oh, this is a world famous uh, art installation in Singapore. And you know, him and I went on for 45 minutes talking about all kinds of ideas for AR and taxis slash Uber slash DD. And I realized, you know, we had all these new ideas. He even added some stuff to his, cause he was consulting, you know, like he added some slides uh, to his deck about what we talked about. And what I realized is like, you know, these are some cool ideas. They're not necessarily novel ideas, but we had 45 minutes of conversation. We had new ideas and we connected on an interest, all thanks to a little seven word notification that showed up on my smart glasses floating on top of my vision that said, how could AR glasses change the taxi cab experience? And that's just a GPT-40 model running proactively. So we have these tiny LLM gatekeepers. They run like multiple times a second and they say, should we run this model? Question answerer, idea generator, statistician, fact checker, they're all running in the cloud, taking the transcription of what I say. And then they, when the gatekeeper says, yep, let's run, it runs a big model like GPT-40 or Claude 3.5. And then where it has tool access, like to search engines and to your memories, and then it deposits insights, basically trying to use the context to help you achieve your goals and overlays it on your vision, on your glasses. These have a display. I see it in front of me. So, there are many stories from my life and our collaborators' lives of using this type of hybrid thinking, as Kurzweil calls it, with, with things like Convoscope, where the AI thinks with you in the real world. Um, and I'll share more in some other videos.